Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I'm Diego and I'm gonna be showing you how Tinley Park 2024 October was. It was pretty fun. It was my first NARBC, so I had a lot of fun. I went there and met a lot of people and we saw amazing reptiles. And before we get into the voiceover part of the video, I'm just gonna say that I recorded this on my phone because I forgot my camera, but I still, I'm going to show you some really cool animals and hopefully the quality is not a big issue. I'm going to be doing a voiceover because I don't remember everything from the top of my head right now. I'm going to show you which vendors we met and which vendors we bought from. And we took some pictures as well. So see in the video, you want to see how Tinley Park October 2024 was. We drove from Lafayette, Indiana, which was pretty close to Tinley Park. This is where we live. So we're pretty lucky to be this close to the NARBC Tinley Park Expo. And it was about like an hour and 30 minutes, so it wasn't that long. During the ride, we saw this giant pumpkin that someone was taking to probably a giant pumpkin contest. And it was pretty cool to see. When I was little, I remember watching videos of these contests, and I saw this on the road, so it was fun. One of the first things that we saw when we arrived were these pink or white crested geckos. They're leucistic. Some people call them pinky crested geckos. Some other people call them genetic hypo this is the two copy of the genetic hypo and these crested geckos were here at the expo not for sale in the dixie reptiles booth and she also had her frostbite crested gecko which is similar to these guys in some areas it goes through the fingers the neck and stuff like that she thinks it's a different gene that she created in her collection so that's pretty interesting and we'll see how it develops after that, we went to Pangea's table and they had some really nice crested geckos with awesome head structure. And they also had some pixels for $600 and $900. We then went to AJ's booth. I unfortunately didn't record much, but they had this sable and some other really cool stuff. I unfortunately didn't buy anything from them, but I do really like AJ. He's a great guy and he's got a lot of awesome geckos. He also does a lot of podcasts on genetics and he explains things very well. I got to take a picture with him, so that was also pretty fun. And then he helped me find Tom from Gecological, who I was looking for for a while. Tom was also amazing. He was so into his crested geckos and all of the questions that I asked, he answered perfectly. He is really nice. He's got crazy lines as well. I love the cold fusions and I was really close to buying a female from him. Unfortunately, I didn't have any cash on me and he only took cash at the moment. I did get to take a picture with him, so that was amazing, and hopefully I can buy some stuff from his collection soon. We also went by Nimmer's Herbs booth, where they had a big variety of New Caledonian geckos, including a rough-snouted gecko. We did buy two gargoyle geckos from these guys, they were not anything amazing. It's our first gargoyle geckos, and we wanted to get to know the species before breeding or anything. So currently, these guys that we bought are going to be just pets, but maybe in the future we'll get some higher quality and breed these guys. We also went by Flawless Cresty's booth and it was really amazing. They had crazy geckos like always and they were also really nice and took a picture with me. After a few minutes, we walked by this booth that unfortunately I don't remember the name, but they had these awesome Chahua to Crested Gecko hybrids. They looked really healthy and they had a really nice weight. They also were able to pair those Chahua hybrids to Crested Geckos and made some Chahua to Crested Gecko to Crested Gecko hybrids. So they were pretty nice and they looked really healthy as I said. I think this guy is doing it in the safest way possible. And hopefully the buyers don't mix these things up and muddy the waters. They did have a lot of these guys and I was surprised to see that many in one booth. We also went by a San Boa booth that was really nice and we were looking to buy some more females but we didn't buy any. They were a really good price but we just didn't and we were really close to buying a paradox but maybe we will in the future finally we walked by the chewy booth where they had some free dubias which was really nice and we also saw adam from wiccan's wicked reptiles adam was amazing he also took a picture with me and explained to me all those little secrets on how to get more views on youtube overall it was an amazing experience i really liked being recognized by some people which i never thought i would because i only have a small follower base on youtube and instagram so it was amazing being able to see people that knew me. And honestly, it was also great to meet my inspirations and all the influencers that I see online. I'm really looking forward to the next NARBC and I hope that I can get to meet all of the other people. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's all I have for today. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.